In 1962, astronaut John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth on the spacecraft Friendship 7. The mission was part of Project Mercury, a program that launched the United States manned spaceflight program. Putting a, a human into orbit was uh, not an easy task. Project Mercury was a single-man capsule. It was the beginning of our, our race to space. Space enthusiast Mark Calhoun's passion for all things space started early. When I was a young boy, um, I was involved in everything and anything that had to do with the space program. Very intrigued with the first moonshots, you know, the Apollo program, and following that um, very intensely. It was just something that, that gave me a thrill. It was something, there's something else out there. That thrill and passion for the technology behind it propelled Mark into the sciences. So when the mechanical engineer stumbled upon an internet ad listing a replica of the Mercury capsule for sale, that thrill came rushing back. And I came across this Mercury capsule uh, that was on auction, and I thought, how cool is that? It would be really neat to, to have something that I can personally work on and reintroduce to the public. And so you paid for it with money out of your own pocket? Yes. This reignited this, this passion to take this out of storage and reintroduce it to young children so they could pursue careers in the sciences like, like I did. Mark, this is it. This, this is the capsule. You're looking at 1962's technology. And this is all wood, um, some wire, uh, just as a mock-up. One of three full-scale replicas built for the purpose of education and outreach by the very same engineers who manufactured the real Project Mercury. When it was on tour in the summer of 62 through different cities, it was attended by lines of people. There is a photograph of this capsule in Philadelphia. I'm inside the Project Mercury capsule, and I'm 5'3", <laughs> and it is tight quarters here. So I can't imagine how John Glenn felt in this little capsule. This is wild. This panel goes right here. The reason this is a different color is because I have a mold made of this so I can replace the ones that are missing. While the bones are there, Mark has his work cut out for him. He also wants to rebuild the inside, so it's set up exactly the way it was for John Glenn. What I do want to do is put it back into show condition, if you will, to put it back on a trailer to take it to schools to expose this engineering marvel that really got us off the planet. Godspeed, John Glenn. And hopefully it will inspire children who reach for the stars and all they do. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.